Okay, here you go. I have the same page. Okay, can you show me three tenths using your noodle? So what I'm asking you is, there are rows of five, so that means I need two rows of five to make one group of ten. Five, ten. Okay, that's one ten. How many tens did we need? Three tens. So I have five and five more. That makes another group of ten. Yes. Yeah, well, we're circling three tenths, three groups of ten. I have ten right here, ten right here, and then I have one more group of ten. We have three groups of ten. So how many noodles do we have all together? Okay, well, let's count them up. If we have three groups of 10, that means we have 10, 20, 30. 30. Good. So three tens is the same as 30. Good. All right. So now you're going to look just on your page. You don't have to turn anything. Okay. On your page right here. We're going to make groups of 10 to find our missing added. Okay. So let's say we have six. Go ahead and draw your six, because that's my number I know. Five, and one more makes six. All right. How many more do we need to make ten? I'm going to make a different mark so I know that I'm adding more. Good. A lot of us see four. One, two, three, four. So six plus what equals ten? How many did we draw? Six plus how many more? Four. Good. Four. Well, it's just the blank in yours. They've changed the way it looks, I guess. So that's how we find our missing number. Six plus, we got to fill in how many more until we get to ten. Okay, what about our next question? It says seven plus what makes ten? So I'm going to make seven dots this time. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's the number we know. How many more do we need to get to ten? Three. Count on. Yes, Isaiah. Um, all right Dylan how many more do we need to make ten seven plus how many more good one two three okay we counted on seven eight nine ten we know we filled up our tens frame so three was our missing number good job good job Go ahead and turn your page. Okay, I'm on the page. I'm a How many ten frames do we have right here? Two. Kelton? Okay, well that's why you gotta rip from the corner. It'll be fine. You gotta I mean you gotta turn the page from the corner, not from the inside. Alright, so we do have two ten frames. We have one and then we have two. Amanti, how many tenths do we have? Two tenths. So how many ones would that make? Well, if I was to fill up each one of these frames with a one, right? One dot, two dot, three dot, four dot, five dot, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Hopefully you did that on your page and you counted on with me. Okay, if not, go ahead and do that now. 
How many ones did I just draw? Twenty. Good. Thank you. Next time, raise your hand, please. We have twenty ones. So go ahead and draw your twenty ones. Okay, or just write your circles in real quick, just like I did. So two ten is the same as twenty ones. Okay, Isaiah. So how many is two tens? How many ones is that? Amanti? Good. Twenty ones. So now on our green page, if you turn it up, and we're going to think of some examples of how to show tens and ones. Well, an example of some tens and ones, what if we drew the number 16? How about we do one ten, right? We can use our ten stick, and then we'll need six ones. All right? What's another way we could show an example of tens and ones? Yes, Clara? Clay, don't you have another one you can use for now? Well, we just did it, Taylor. We just had a tens frame. Can you draw a tens frame? Or at least try. Okay, we can see an example of a tens frame. There you go. Okay, enough spaces, so that makes 10. Okay, we did 16 up here, one 10 and six ones. Is there any other way we can show some tens and some ones? Hey, okay, what if we had that big number 20? What could we do? Amanti? Okay, yeah, we have one 10 plus one more 10. Okay, and then we could just show a number. All right, if we had maybe the number 12, 110, and two ones. Okay, that represents our tens and our ones by using just numbers. We have our tens and ones cubes. We can use the tens frame. Okay, we can add, and then we can use it to see it in numbers. All right, so if we turn that over. Oh, you have a question down at the bottom. How many is the same as, how many tens is the same as 41? 41. How many is the same? How many tens do we need to make 41? Hmm. Well, if I counted all of these up, how many would I need to make 41? Allison? Good. If we're counting by our tens, 10, 20, 30, 40. This is 40 ones, and it is four tens. I'm going to write my word tens because that's what it's asking. Four tens. Go ahead and write that down at your bottom, or you could draw your picture of your tens. All right, well, you can just draw a stick. You don't have to do a rectangle if you want. Okay, that shows that you have 10. Okay, and you have to make sure that your ones look like ones, though. If you're only going to draw a little stick, make sure your ones are small. But we don't need any ones right now because 40 is only four tenths. All right, now go ahead and turn your page. All right, how many tense frames do we have? Look at your page. How many tens? Taylor, how many tens? Three. Good. Three tenths. So how many ones does that make it? Oh, four. What is three tenths? 
Well, here's 10, 10, 20, 30. 30. So three tenths, Isaiah, is how many ones? Three. Not three ones. Thirty. Good. Thirty ones. We need to know that a ten stick means ten ones. So if we have three tenths, how many ones do we have? Thirty. Thirty ones. And we could sit here and we could fill it up and put ten ones in each box if we wanted to. Okay, to show you that each box is one. Okay, we have 30 ones. All right, great job. We're going to spend the next uh, little bit of time in iReady math.